The main contention in the case was whether IABC ought to have consulted with the public in deciding whom to award the ballot paper printing tender. The High Court had earlier ruled that IABC had failed on that call. Barely two weeks after the meeting. However, while the Court of Appeal agreed with the premise of the argument, it however noted that in this particular case, the circumstances permitted IABC not to do so. There is no constitutional or statutory mandatory requirement that there must be public participation before a decision to adapt or use direct procurement is made. The appellate judges also faulted the ruling by the trial court for not factoring in the timelines required to print the ballot papers. That had the trial court addressed its mind to the timelines as stipulated in regulations of the Procurement Act 2005 and Section 86 of the Public Procurement and Assets Disposal Act 2015, the learned judges would have appreciated that indeed there was no sufficient time to restart the process for procurement of election materials. We find that the High Court in this matter exercises discretion wrongly without regard to the constitutional timelines within which presidential and general elections is to be held vis-a-vis -vis timelines for various procurement activities. Though behind schedule, the Court of Appeal ruling clears the path for IABC and Al Gurea Farm to proceed to print the presidential ballot papers and deliver them within the next two weeks. IABC has since given Al Gurea the green light to commence the printing of the presidential ballot papers. The process is expected to take between 10 to 12 days, with the papers expected to be delivered in the country by the 3rd of August. The opposition alliance NASA says it is studying the ruling before deciding the next course of action. We have to sit with, uh, with our principals. We, we are just the lawyers, so we have to advise on uh, the situation as it is, uh, which they will consider in respect of the political situation, uh, and, and they will make a decision. However, in a statement, Salem Lohn, advisor to the NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga, indicated that the opposition would respect the ruling by the appellate court, even as he noted that the opposition was distressed that despite doubts about the integrity of Al Gurea, IABC had insisted on rewarding it with a ballot tender. The Jubilee Party, on the other hand, welcomed the court verdict. It's a victory for Kenyan people because Kenyans now have certainty that on 8th of August there will be. The elections. We will support IEBC, but at least we have the following requests. Is the supervision by presidential agents at the printing of ballot papers. Sam Gitukosrezen TV, Nairobi.